This is the Toyan FS100 4 stroke nitro motor. And by the way, y'all, uh, just watching a YouTube video, these parts do look really good. But, you know, let me tell you something. When you actually get these things in real life, they look like 10 times better. And one thing I did notice, guys, is in like all the other YouTube videos I watched of this engine where you build it, this is an actual manual. All it came with was just this little thing right here. And you gotta like scan a QR code. For some reason, it will not work. And that's always going to be my luck. I'm always going to get the one that, you know, is the defective one. So I do have mini plans with this engine here. Uh, I do want to get like a chassis or a crawler or something and put this engine in. Like, you know, like Dennis Dempsey, Kevin Talbot, uh, RC Takes and Trucks, Johnny Q90. I put a link down below. I'm not sponsored by them. You know, they're not sponsored to me. I didn't get this for free. I had to pay for this on my own money. So I'm just going to put a link down below just so you can look at the website if you want to. All right, so in order to build this engine here, I'm going to watch the RC Tanks and Trucks video uh, when he did like a 35 minute series of building this engine. So that's really going to help me out since, you know, the QR code won't work on this thing and they just didn't want to give me the instruction manual for whatever reason. So I'm just going to show you the finished product and I'll put y'all back on. All right, y'all check it out. I finally got it built. Look at the huge mess I made. That's what it takes in order to build one of these things. Now, one problem I did have was that this part right here where it goes over the key onto the crankshaft, that was so tight, but you know, I was like yelling and screaming a little bit. And I had just had to like really clamp it on there. I forgot what I used, but I finally got it on there. The second thing is with the camshaft, uh, you know, it was really aggravating. Uh, I had to like, you know, clamp this, I had like, Put this over there if I can explain it good and push the bearing onto there and you know push the bearing right there so the camshaft would actually sit right there but I'm very happy about how this thing turned out all right so building this engine it took me about uh, about maybe three and a half four hours something like that it definitely would have been a lot quicker if I would actually have like a step-by-step -step destruction manual but they didn't give it to me, so I had to watch the RC Tanks and Trucks video. I'm gonna see if we can start this thing up now. We have the most monkey rig contraption engine mount you will ever see. Of course, the glow plug is wanting to come off. Yeah, it's just, it's just a glove plug ain't, you know, firing for some whatever reason. So I'm just going to put the, or my normal glow igniter on it and see what happens. Oh, there we go.
give I mean, yeah, you can buy a bird in 212, but you can't. You know, y'all, I'm very surprised that the EPA has not, you know, banned four-stroke uh, nitro engines of how much it pollutes. I am literally about to suffocate in here, so I have the box fan here, you know, blowing it all that way. You know, once it was running, it was running really good. So I cannot wait in order to get like a, like, I'm probably going to get like a Red Cat uh, chassis. Maybe the three-speed transmission from Sterling Kit and Engine DIY, and maybe the two-speed transfer case from uh, RC4 Drive, and make this thing into something awesome.